Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Mac Buyer's Guide video. I got a lot of positive feedback and comments on my previous Mac Buyer's Guide where I talked about which MacBook is the best for you to buy. And I got a lot of requests to do a Mac desktop video. So that's what this video is today. I'm gonna go over which Mac desktop is the best for you to buy in 2015. So very similar to the Mac laptops, the Mac desktops are separated into three different categories. The Mac mini, which is the cheapest, the iMac, which is the all-in-one, and the Mac Pro, which is the professional Mac desktop. I'll be analyzing these three different categories and describing which person that each model is best suited for. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you my number one tip for buying a new Apple desktop and saving money. So let's start off with the Mac mini. The Mac mini is Apple's cheapest, most budget-friendly option, but it is also the least powerful. It starts off at $499 and can, can be figured up to over $1,000. Now here's a brief overview of the Mac Mini. All Mac Mini models come with dual core processors, either the i5 or the i7. The hard drive can be configured to a solid state drive or a fusion drive, which is good. They all come with four gigabytes of RAM, can be configured to up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has a decent amount of ports, so any port that you need, it most likely has. Also has built-in Wi-Fi and built-in Bluetooth. Now the Mac Mini is the entry-level desktop. It's the cheapest and it may look enticing because of its low price, but I would not recommend getting the base Mac Mini at all. The cheapest Mac Mini that will be worth your while, in my opinion, will cost you at least $900 to $1,000. So make sure you have that budget of $1,000 first before you think about getting any type of Mac desktop. The base Mac Mini at $499 is definitely not worth it, in my opinion, because you want to avoid the 5400 RPM drives at all costs. Those are slow hard drives and you definitely don't want those in 2015. I can't believe Apple's actually selling these in their Mac desktops right now at the end of 2015. I don't agree with it, but hey, it's Apple. They've always done what they wanted to do. So make sure you configure that hard drive to at least the solid state drive or the fusion drive because those will be a whole lot faster than the 5400 RPM drive. So make sure you do that, keep that in mind. And you wanna get at least eight gigabytes of RAM in that Mac mini because you wanna make it future proof. You want this Mac mini to last you four to five years. Also the Mac mini does not come with any accessories. It just, the computer itself, it doesn't come with a monitor, doesn't come with a keyboard, doesn't come with a mouse. So you wanna make sure you have all those before getting Mac mini. If you don't have all of those, then you wanna get the next one in line, which is the iMac. So since the iMac is a computer built into a monitor, it's an all-in-one solution, it's, it's gonna cost a little bit more money than the Mac mini. The cheapest non-retina iMac starts at 1099, and it still has a full 1080p HD display, but it doesn't have that new retina display. The cheapest retina iMac starts at 1499, and that's for the 21.5 inch 4K retina iMac. The cheapest 27 inch retina iMac is 1799, and that's with a 5K display. These new Retina iMacs just look incredible. They're freaking awesome. There's no other way around it. They, they're ultra thin. They have those 4K and 5K Retina displays. It's a very minimalistic desktop setup. It's an all-in-one. And then it also comes with the wireless Bluetooth keyboard and the wireless Bluetooth mouse. So if you have a fairly high budget, you know, around $1,500 to $2,000, and you need an HD or retina display, you're in need of an upgrade, monitor upgrade, or you don't have a monitor at all, and you want a new Mac computer, the iMac is a great choice for you. Overall, it's just a beautiful computer monitor combination, and they just updated it this month in October 2015, so it's a great time to buy the iMac. And finally, let's talk about the last Mac desktop model, and that's the Mac Pro. The cheapest model is $3,000, and you can configure these Mac Pros to be up to around $10,000. So obviously these are for people who have extremely large budgets, usually people who are in professional work and need uh, to do intensive, hardcore CPU intensive applications like video editing, computer 3D animations, all these different programs and software that require a lot of processing power. The Mac Pro is targeted to those people. Uh, super fast speed for everything, powerful, powerful machines. So obviously this is Apple's top of the line, most expensive, most powerful, fastest computer desktop that they sell. So you know if you need that type of power. So that's my Mac desktop buyer's guide for 2015. Again, in summary, Mac mini is perfect for people on a low budget who already own an HD monitor. The iMac is perfect for people who have a budget of at least $1,500 and who need a new monitor, a new HD monitor, or just want that gorgeous display and want that all-in-one setup. And the Mac Pro is targeted for professionals who are doing very process of intensive applications who need that power and speed and have a very high budget. 
And as I promised earlier, this is my number one tip for buying a new Apple desktop. Check out the Apple certified refurbished Mac. So if you just Google refurbished Mac, you should see the website, Apple's website, Apple certified refurbished Macs. Click on that link and it'll show all the certified refurbished Macs that Apple's selling on their website. It's basically brand new Mac desktops but they can't really sell them as new because these were probably previously owned and something was wrong, so the customer sent it back in, but Apple's technicians fixed whatever the problem was, and it comes with the same one-year warranty that the new Apple desktops come with. So it's almost like getting a brand new Apple desktop from Apple themselves that they certified and tested and with that same Apple warranty, but at a discount. So check that out. That's how I buy all my Macs. So I hope this video helps you decide which Mac desktop to buy in 2015 going into 2016. I will leave any relevant links in the description below and leave a comment down below. And let me know which desktop you decided to buy. I will see you guys in the next video.